Hi. There were once three kids playing in this schoolyard, and the first kid said to the other, you know what, my father is rich. He's a teacher, he's earning $50,000 a year. And the second kid said, no, 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 my mother is rich. She's a judge, and she's making $250,000 a year. And the third kid said, no, no, you don't get it. My father is really rich. He's a United Church minister. I don't know how much he makes, but it takes four people each week to collect the money people wants to give him. Yes, today we will talk about money. Don't be afraid. Don't feel that you have to hide your wallet or your purse. I will not send in hell or heaven people according to how much they will give. I will not ask you to click a button to give money at the end of this slip. No, it's something else. And I don't know why. Well, I have an idea why, but for many reasons, when we talk about money, when we talk about stewardship in our churches, people are uncomfortable. It's almost like if it's um, something that is dirty, something that is not holy, that is not for church, you know, and it's very strange. It has become one of the taboo in our church uh, today. Uh, I laugh sometimes when I, and I could say a, a minister can do a series of sermons on human sexuality. It will fly, but money, ooh, no, 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 this is, this is inappropriate. But when we think about it, we look at this. This is, not, well, it used to be paper, but now it's plastic with some colors, some numbers, some, you know, a picture of face. And this object does not think, does not talk, does not have the power to influence our, our mind or our lives. This is, when we look at it, this is a tool. It's, it's like a hammer. I can use a hammer in different ways. I can use hammer to hit someone in the head and kill that person, you know, the most extreme example. Or I can use the same hammer and build a house and go for Habitat for Humanity, for example, and help someone that I may not have even met. In the same way, money or time or everything, talents, all the gifts we can can share to the church are neutral. It can be used to manipulate, like I don't know, said, I will put money in the plate only if all my needs and desire are met at the church. Or it can be for generosity. I will use my money to support a cause or a, a, a project that might not be the most popular or the flavor of the month but is really worthy and very essential and it's what we do with our resources that makes it faithful or makes it harmful and when we talk about this in our church it's an invitation to reshape the question because as I'm recording this, the end of the year is coming. Some, maybe some churches and most likely treasurers in the churches start to feel nervous. Are we gonna meet our budget? Will we have enough money? And some churches and congregation, it's time for pledges and, and try to invite people to, to give and to, maybe we got it wrong. Maybe what we are called is to look it in the other way and start with the, with the question, to what are we really called? What is burning inside of us that wants to be done and accomplished in the name of our faith, our spirituality, our involvement in the world? And then what are the tools we need to achieve those projects, to get there? Is it money? Is it 
volunteer from time for uh, time for volunteers is it uh, people offering music is it the phone call it then it change the narrative it's not necessarily how much do you give and it's not about hierarchy of the big donor that have a lot to say about what's happening and the small donor that don't feel you know important enough to to speak in a meeting said what do we want and how we get there I often say our business is not about money fundraising or or you know meeting the the, the budget goals our business as church people is fate is ministry it's answering this call we receive from God so I hope in all your contexts when it would come to stewardship when it will come to money the survey of time and talent all of this it's always start with what are we called to do and be in our context in this time of this time and place and then looking for ways to invite people to give and offer what they have to offer I hope that will help you in your reflection about this I hope that I will see you soon until then I remain Reverend Stefan Vermette the lectionary man take care of yourself and bye-bye